Hello everyone. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, we'll talk about the magic wand tool. So uh, let's click on the magic wand tool. It looks like this. It's uh, placed uh, in the same bar uh, as the quick selection tool. So after you select the magic wand tool, let's look at the context menu up here. Magic wand tool lets you select areas within a color range. Okay. So if you want to select only those areas which are very you know which fall within a very narrow color range you keep the tolerance low if you want to select areas which are uh, less similar to each other you keep the tolerance high so let's have a demonstration tolerance is 15 I click here and this is all the selection I get I deselect it increase the tolerance and I click here and you will notice that the selection has now grown bigger okay now uh, there are other options of adding to selection, subtracting from selection, or intersecting with selection, uh, which are pretty much um, the same as uh, shift, pressing shift and selecting, adding to the selection, pressing option and selecting, removing from the selection, and the third one is uh, overlap, which is essentially uh, you know, which essentially lets you select the area which overlaps overlaps with the already selected area. So here, let's select the overlap thing and press here. And so it selected the area which was selected with the new tool and which was already selected. So it selected the overlap. Okay. Now let's uh, go back to the original selection thing. And then there is this option called contiguous. Uh, contiguous uh, lets you select only those pixels or those similar colored area which are within close proximity to each other so for example if we keep the tolerance 40 and click here then you will see that all the orange areas which fall within the color range in the you know in the picture are selected however if I deselect it and activate the contiguous and then click on the same spot you will see that only that area which fell in the color range and which was close to the place where we clicked is selected okay so now um, let's say I want to uh, select the complete uh, cup thing so I remove contiguous and I press shift and I click here but not all area is selected and that's uh, that's kind of a problem so uh, let's increase the tolerance to 50 and remove the contiguous thing and click here and see that more area is selected now uh, we can just keep on, uh, you know, uh, keep on increasing the tolerance. But if we keep on doing that, then what might happen is that uh, this red bag, you know, uh, so this red color will come within the color range, and then we'll have to try uh, to use some other tools to remove this selection. Okay. So now let's just press Shift and add to the older selection here. It's not a lot. Uh, it's not very difficult. So after I've done this, now I just want to get rid of, you know, the selection uh, which occurred, um, you know, this, uh, this red bag which got selected. And I can do that with, with magic, wand, magic wand, but I think an, e an easier way is uh, just to use uh, the regular lasso tool. Um, so here I press option and I draw around the area which I want to remove from the selection and see that area is removed. Similarly, I come here and I select this area which I want to remove from selection and that area is taken care of. And I can keep on doing that and get rid of all the unwanted areas In the selection okay. for areas closer to the edges it might be a better idea to use a magnetic lasso tool now we press option and we click here and see a selection is made close to the edges and that area is clean now. Again, magnetic lasso. This area is clean. And again here, 
and this area is clean. Now there's another spot here and I'll take care of this. So now if you just zoom down you will see that the, that the image has been selected using magic wand and with the help of other tools, other selection tools to clear things up. Now I just noticed that there is this small hand, so I'll clear this up and that makes the sele selection almost perfect. Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, thank you and goodbye.